No one doubts that the social media queen Kim Kardashian and Grammy award-winning rapper Kanye West are one of the most iconic celebrity couples of all time. Huge headlines have been made earlier before when several sources reported their six-year marriage has finally reached the point of no return. They should get a divorce. Not a big fan of Kanye because of his erratic behavior in recent years. I just told you who I thought I was, a god! But I'm very interested to dig in if there's any sign leading up to their divorce. Kanye West might be sleeping with Jeffree Star. Welcome to Inner Talk, I talk about whatever I found is interesting. In this episode, I'm gonna show you three times Kim Kardashian was embarrassed by her husband Kanye West publicly. I'm a little bit annoyed. We have to talk about this. Comment below and let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like the video. Let me take a sip of bird of tea and we'll dive into that. First, Kanye disclosed private details about their family in his first rally for his last minute presidential campaign which shocked Kim beyond words last year. I have decided in 2020 to run for president. Kanye gave a very emotional speech about abortion and revealed that he and her wife Kim actually considered getting an abortion while she was pregnant in 2013. Let's look at what he said. She was crying. She said, I just came from the doctor. She said she was pregnant. She had the pills in her hand where you take the pills and if you take it, it's a wrap. The baby's gone. Oh man, what were you thinking? Publicly revealing Kim's personal life without her consent is very disrespectful. And I can't even imagine how their daughter Northwest would think when she knows her mom wanted to abort her back then. Second, what makes the whole thing even worse is Kanye made a series of explosive tweets just one day later. He accused Kim and his mother-in-law Kris Jenner of trying to bring a doctor to lock him up and suggest that the horror movie Get Out was based on his own life. Oh god, I felt very embarrassed for Kim's family. Kim was trying to fly to Wyoming with a doctor to lock me up like in the movie Get Out because I cried about saving my daughter's life yesterday and many more. Even though Kanye deleted every tweet over an hour later, the Twitter rant has upset Kim so much. According to Entertainment Tonight ET, Kanye tweeting about the family and painting her as trying to lock him up has left Kim completely devastated because that wasn't her intention and she only ever wanted the best for her husband. I seriously believe that Kanye's headline making behavior in the second half of 2020 was definitely a deciding factor of their divorce. Why? Because embarrassing twists just never stop. Cause I'm getting hungry, time for my lentils with tomatoes, onions, and paprika. Finish my lunch first and we'll talk about the third part. Okay, are you ready? Here's the last part. Kanye claimed that he was trying to get divorced from Kim in July since she met with Nick Mill to discuss prison reform in 2018 at the Waldorf in Beverly Hills. This is what he said on Twitter. Mick is my man and was respectful that's my dog. Kim was out of line. I'm worth $5 billion and more than that through Christ but y'all ain't listen to MJ and now y'all believe them? Apparently, Kanye was jealous over the fact that her wife Kim earned glowing praise from Mill in 2019 when he called her a friend and hailed her for doing a lot of good work on prison reform. A source told ET that Kim takes her career, businesses, and image very seriously, and Kanye's actions have already affected all aspects of her life. Everyone knows Kanye was diagnosed with bipolar disorder in 2016. I hate being bipolar, it's awesome. As his wife, I think Kim already did her very best in saving their rocky marriage. Despite all of his behavioral outbursts, she still chose to openly defend for Kanye on Instagram. Those who are close with Kanye know his heart and understand his words sometimes do not align with his intentions, but it takes two to make a marriage work. As Tony Gaskins, a motivational speaker, author, and life coach has once said, you can't save a relationship unless both people are equally invested. It takes a joint effort to make it work. One person trying will never be enough. If you were Kim, would you file a divorce anyway or would you give Kanye one more chance to work out the marriage?